welcome back to our channel. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jess. And today we're going to do a makeup collection video. So we'll be making videos every day. We didn't do one yesterday because I'm sick, if you can tell. And yesterday she wasn't feeling too well either. Yeah, but we're both a little sick. Yeah, so let's get into this makeup collection. Okay, okay so, so we're going to start, start out with... First? What do you want to start out with? Lips? Sure, alright, so... So we're going to start out with lips. Uh, do you want to go first? Sure, yeah. So, I store my little lips in here. Uh, and so I have this red Milani one. It's the metallic in the shade Matley in Love. And if you guys want to see swatches, leave a comment down below and we'll do a video of swatches of palettes. And you think you guys have to request it though. And this one, the metallic Milani, it's pink in the shade Dramatic Diva. And I have this little mini tart tardiest lip paints in the shade birthday suit. And this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip, matte liquid lip in the shade Catherine. And then I have three Jeffree Star ones. Oh, Star ones. Oh. Oh, three Jeffree Star. This one's the shade Nude Beach, Doll Parts, and Virginity. And that's all my liquid lips. I have like six mini ones. I have a Makeup Forever in C211. I have a Buxom lip cream in Centerfold. Oh, I have nice. a Too Faced Melted Chocolate liquefied longwear lipstick in a mini lipstick from Marc Jacobs in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. The Sephora lipstick in M11. I don't know, but it's a deep, like, burgundy red. And then I have a lipstick from Milani in the shade Uptown Mauve. I have a lipstick from Lime Crime in Faded. I have a lipstick from MAC in Viva Glam number four, I believe. Or three, I don't know. Smashbox liquid lipstick in, I don't know. And um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Milkshake. A liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star in Virginity, and that's all. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to do brushes, so I keep putting in this little AC bag on our desk because we both just use my makeup when filming most of the time. So I have a few of these. There's, this is an Ulta brush, just a little poofy one. This is a brush. I don't know where I got it, but it's a brush that I use for blush. And I have all of these face base ones. All of these are face base brushes. I have an eyeliner, a blending, an eyeshadow, contour, foundation, uh, blush, highlight, all of that. Then I have this Milani <coughs> eyebrow brush with a little spoolie and this flower eyebrow stuff, but I took the eyebrow stuff out because it was empty with the spoolie. And this Real Techniques uh, setting brush that I use for highlighter. I so have... My brushes. About five or six eyeshadow brushes. Three are from Wet n Wild. These two I forgot. Um, blending brushes, crease brushes, um, flat brushes. I have um, some. I have a powder brush, blush brush, bronzing brush. Two foundation brushes, one white oh, tart. That was close. I have this brush that I use for highlighter. It's from Eco Tools. I have a contour brush, one wild, and that's it. Alright, so now we should move <coughs> on to highlighters. Um or sprays. We'll do sprays. So I have two of these hard candy sheer and V primer mist 12 hour like setting sprays this one's almost gone i they're really good <coughs> i like them 
kind of sticky though, but I mean, I guess that's good. And then I have this brush cleaner by Studio 35. I got it at Walgreens because I really needed one and then we were in a hurry. I wouldn't recommend this. It's like, smells so chemically, but I mean, it cleans your brushes. It just, it smells so chemically and it feels like oily on my hands, so yeah. Uh, I actually am out of my Urban Decay uh, spray. setting spray, so I don't have anything spray but let's go on to foundations and concealers so I have a almost empty NYC New York color smooth skin Finny parfait BB cream in light I wouldn't recommend it I I wish it was more full coverage but I have a makeup forever H ultra HD foundation in the in Y225, I love it. I have a foundation by Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in porcelain. I actually haven't really tested it out too much, but um, maybe we'll do a review. Yeah. And I have a concealer by NARS, Radiant Creaming Concealer in Chantilly. So if you guys want to review on any of the products we're showing you, leave a comment down below. But I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation in the shade Light 45 Neutral. I really like it. It's really good coverage, but if you use too much, it does turn me orange. I don't use it on a daily basis because, I mean, I have this. Also, Hard Candy Glamouflage in the shade Porcelain, and it's pretty good coverage, so I only use my Kat Von D one when I'm going out. Then I also have this Naked Skin by Urban Decay Under Eye Concealer in the shade Light Warm. That's all for my concealers. Do you want to do primers now? Yeah. Okay, primers. so I'll go first because I don't have that many. I have this Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion, but I like to use it as a base sometimes because it's really good as one. And I have a Hard Candy Sheeran V Coconut water primer stick and I really like it. So I have this little sample of the Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. I thought it was eyeshadow primer when I ordered my Too Faced palette that this came with, but I haven't tried it. I think I'm going to try it and I'm probably going to end up ordering a bigger one because I've heard good reviews about it. And then I have this Professional Pro Bomb to Minimize the Appearance of Pores by Benefit. I don't really like it. It's kind of oily, but it works. And then I have this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. I really like it. And then I also have the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Longwear 12 Hour Power. It looks like this. And it's like pretty much the same thing as a primer stick, but clean, I mean cream, I guess. Something like that. I actually like the stick better. Yeah, I like the stick better too. So that's all I have for primers. Uh, do you want to do eyeshadow palettes now? Oh, sure, yes. <laughs> okay, okay so. you can get started because I'm going to have to get my Alright, so I have all of my eyeshadow palettes are Too Faced. I almost forgot this one. So, let's go in first with my white chocolate chip eyeshadow palette by Too Faced. I'll just show you guys what they look like. I'm not going to go into details with that. But these are the shades. It smells like chocolate. tastes like chocolate. I like it. And then I have the new peanut butter and honey palette by Too Faced. And it looks like this. These are the eyeshadows. Smells like honey. Very nice. And then I also have the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. And it looks... Well, I don't know. Yeah, okay, I got it out. So it looks like this. These are the colors. It smells more like chocolate. It tastes like chocolate. I like it, though. And if you guys go to our channel or tune into our other video if you haven't seen it we did a versus of the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly and peanut butter and honey so make sure you go watch that and then I have these are hard to get out all right Ugh. and the Too Faced chocolate bar first one palette I'm just going to show you the shades on the back those are all the shades it smells like chocolate tastes like chocolate I love it and I have, look what happened to my palette. I was telling her about that earlier. Well, the box, but I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is what the colors look like. Smells like peaches. Tastes kind of fruity, I guess. I like it. And then I have, ugh, dang, I really need to fix that. I have the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. 
and it smells like chocolate, it tastes like chocolate. These are the colors. And then I have, last but not least, I think this is my last one, yeah. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. It looks like this. These are the colors. It smells like chocolate, of course. I really like it. Okay, so uh, this okay. is my eyeshadow palette. It, I have the Too Faced Christmas in New York, the Chocolate Shop eyeshadow palette. Here it is, if you've probably seen it before a hundred million times. Yeah, but it's still shiny. Okay. And then I've got the Bare Minerals uh, convert Ready Convertible Eyeshadow Palette. Um, you can take them in and out. Don't want to take them out now, but there you go. There, I shouldn't have done this. I have a place. Sephora by Z Palette. Uh, make your own palette. I have a lot of MAC. I have some Anastasia in the corner. I have some Urban Decay. I have Revlon right there and some Clinique. Okay, so... And then I have a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I have a Too Faced White Chocolate Chip palette. I hope I'm not distracted. And I have a Bare, Mini Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow in the Overachiever Smooge and Get Ahead. Here are the colors. You guys have probably seen a lot of at least my makeup from our previous videos because we use them a lot. But this is a full, so what should we go on to now? Let's do blushes. Blushes. All right, you can go first, unless you want me to go first. Okay, so I have a MAC blush in Yum 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 Magic Dust Powder from the Nutcracker Sweet Collection. I have a blush from Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the Princess De La Cours. I have a blush from Benefit in Dandelion, mini size. And I have a mini size of the Tarte blush, Amazonian clay blush, and prim. Okay, so, sorry I had to fix everything. So I have a mini Tarte blush, Amazonian clay in the shade Party. Looks like this. It's really beautiful. I like it. But this is kind of like my go-to blush right here. If I can get it out. I have the Wet n Wild Ombre blush in the shade, I don't know, it's like Princess de la Cours or something like that. It's the pink one. It's really pretty. It's lightweight, but it has a lot of fallout. And yeah, that's all I have for blushes. Um, let's go to oh, shit. mascaras. Why don't you start? Alright, so I have this Smashbox photo finish. I did say Smashbox, my nose is set. Photo finish. Lash primer. It's shit. It makes my eyes clump up. I don't like it. I really don't. You know what we should do for our next video is a full face using products I hate. Yeah. I'll get a bunch of old makeup from my house. And I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I love this. It's, it's worth it. Next time I don't think I'm going to get waterproof. I think I'm going to get the regular because it's really waterproof. It's hard to get off. Even with soap, water, makeup wipes. Yeah. So I also have this Biggest Fan Mascara by Hard Candy. I hate this. I really do. Let me just show you guys what the applicator looks like. Like, look at, look at that. I hate it. It's all clumpy, gross. I don't like it. I really don't. And yeah, that's all I have for mascaras. Oh, and I also, I forgot to mention this. I have this liquid lip by Hard Candy. It's the metallic mousse. I really hate it. It's all chunky and gross. I guess it is mousse, so it does what it's supposed to, but I hate it. Use it for eyeshadow sometimes. My mascaras, I have the Ulta brand Volumptus Volume Volume Mascara. I think you get that. Uh, I have a mini size of the Benefit Roller Lash. I really like it. I have a mini size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really like it. And a mini size of the Hypnos Drama Mascara, Volume Mascara from Lancome. I really like it. That's it. For mine. So, highlighters or um, bronzers? Crap, I just put my bronze, my highlighters away. Here, I'll take bronzers real quick. So, I only have one. I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light, uh, Soleil Bronzer in the shade Light Slash Medium Matte. Well, the packaging looks like this. I can't open it. My nails is why. 
so and this is what it looks like it smells like chocolate tastes like chocolate that little dark brown spot is because i accidentally got it wet because my brush was still wet today but it was worse i just let it sit open and dry out so it not dry out but dry so it's better it smells so good so yeah that's my bronzer i have two bronzers one is in the palette the Too Faced uh the chocolate shop palette you it's a uh medium to dark chocolate soleil and i have this one by S jlb cosmetic or cosmetics in sand glow it's really good i like it and then highlighters yeah so i have a few highlighters so we'll save the best for last and start with this one I have this uh, Studio Highlight Palette by Profusion. I think it came from Styles for Less. It looks like this. It's pretty good, actually. It's like a good highlighter for like maybe you're in a corner. This one's really, really, really buttery. This is like an orange highlight, but they're pretty good. They're pigmented. They're highlighters, so if you're on a budget, I recommend this. But if you're not on a budget... No, I'm just kidding. And also, I have this NYX uh, Illuminator in the shade ritualistic i think i i've never pronounced that it looks like this it honestly looks like shit i didn't like it at first but i tried it again here i'll just watch for you guys i guess you gotta break through the top layer because now it's really buttery and look that's beautiful i love it i really do like it now at first i hated it but now i like it because i gave it a second chance it's kind of like crumbly okay so now I have the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. Look at the holographs in the video. It's cute. And it looks like this. It's very <coughs> beautiful. I love this palette. It's so pigmented. I'm actually using the highlight today. And if I can get this back in here. Now, save the best for last. I have this Jeffree Star highlighter in the shade princess cut it looks like this i used it a lot but it's beautiful i love it i totally recommend this yeah that's all for my highlighters i have a highlighter in inner light that the shade inner light it's in the Too faced the chocolate shop palette and i have this highlighter from sephora micro smooth illuminator baked luminizer and light bean <coughs> There it is. It's good, but it's kind of chalky. And <coughs> so now, eyeliner and eyebrow stuff. Okay. So I have this flower liquid liner, which I don't even know why I bought it. It's good. It's it's great, though, and I thought it was black. It's in the shade. I can't even read this. <coughs> I don't know. It says SE12. I don't know if that's the shade or it might say SE2. I don't even know. It's gray. It's really good though. If you want gray eyeliner and you could do a wing with the wet liquid because I can't. I'm honestly not even doing a wing. Yeah, so that's it says that. says liquid smoke. Liquid smoke. That's the name. So, and I also have this wet and wild cream liner. It's black. I actually like it, but not to do the wing because it does transfer. But it's pretty good for like your waterline and stuff. It doesn't transfer from there. And then I also have this Milani dip brow thing. It's like this. I think it's in the shade light brown or something like that. So yeah, that's that. I have a eyeliner from Stila. Stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner in intense black. There it is. And then I have a... Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. That's everything, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's all of our makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. I also have one question for you guys. So I'm stuck in between, because this weekend I want to get a new uh, makeup product to test out for you guys, do some looks, something. So I'm stuck. I don't know if I want to get the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero um, highlighter palette or, or glow kit, sorry, or the uh, Juvia's Place, I think it's called, eyeshadow two of palettes. her eyeshadow palettes. I'm not sure. So leave a comment down below which one you guys think and I will pick the one with the most okay, comments. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Musical.ly. And that's all. We'll link it in the description in box the below. Description below. 
Don't forget to watch our other videos. Yeah, give us descriptions. Give us suggestions on what our next video should be about, or we'll just think of one. And any anything you want us to do, like challenges, um, review makeup. If you want to see a look with any palette, we'll do that. Or reviews on any of our mm -hmm. palettes, anything we just showed you, go ahead, comment that. Um, what else? And if you want us to give you ideas um, on what you should get for makeup, what liquid lip, go what ahead and take, what DM eyeshadow. us on Instagram, Snapchat, or Musical.ly. You can hit us up on those or comment down below. Don't forget to go check out my vlog too. And tomorrow we are going to be doing uh, full face using products I hate. So yeah. don't forget to tune into that. Soon, hopefully, I'll have a vlog channel up soon, either today, tomorrow, or somewhere in the weekend. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get done, I'm trying to get that done with, but I've been a little busy. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed.